Hey guys, Belle here from Disney in 3. I want to talk to you about the Disney World dining plan, explain which options are really great for families and what I think is the best one, and we're going to talk a little bit about how much it costs. So get ready and hopefully you'll find the perfect thing for your family. Now the Disney World dining plan, Disney World sells it like it's going to save you money, but it doesn't really save you a lot. Maybe you'd save like $100 or $200 overall, but I like Disney World dining plan because it gives you peace of mind that you can eat wherever you want and it's gonna you've already paid for it and it's gonna cost the same as if you eat at another place for example when you book your trip you're gonna book it with a certain dining plan there's three different kinds I'll explain those a little later but you have to pay for it before you leave and you get a certain number of dining credits so if you have a dining plan you'll probably get around for a family of four for a week's stay you'll get about 25 dining credits I'd say <laughs> about 25 dining credits and you can use those at whatever restaurant in the entire Disney World, as long as it's owned by Disney. The only exception to that rule is like Rainforest Cafe, I don't think, or Planet Hollywood. There's really no other restaurants that Disney doesn't own in the Disney World area. So you can eat at, you can eat at in Cinderella Castle, you can eat at the Crystal Palace, you can eat at a restaurant in your resort. There's some really nice restaurants in the resorts. If you haven't checked those out, do some research on the resort restaurants, because especially one at the Polynesian Resort, Ohana's is super good. So let me tell you a little bit about that. Now, uh, we went to Ohana's last time on our last trip, and it cost a hundred and forty dollars. That was the, that was the what do you what do you call it? That was the check, and of course you have to pay tip after that. Disney doesn't pay for tip, but you just give them dining credits, one for each person who ate at the meal. So for example, we give them four of our credits. That leaves us with twenty one credits if we have twenty five and you don't have to pay any different. So you could eat at a quick service place and that would be, at Disney it'd probably be about $50 and you'd get like some hot dogs or something. Or you can eat at a really nice place, for example, Ohana's that costs $140 and you use the same credits. So that's the best part of it. It's just peace of mind. You can order whatever you want. You don't have to feel guilty about it. That's what me and my family really like about Disney World because we use restaurants as like another layer of the entertainment. We don't want to just eat burgers and stuff. We want to try some different things, especially in Epcot. If you're going to Epcot, you're going to want to try some of the restaurants. They are so cool. Definitely do some research on that. Now let me explain different dining plans. Okay, let's start off with quick service dining plan. Quick service is where you get the quick service, two quick service meals and one snack. And quick service is like a counter service restaurant, if you don't know. It's like going to McDonald's or like going to Panda, Panda Express and you just order at a counter and then you get your own food and you take it to the table. And Disney World has some really good quick service restaurants, but I wouldn't recommend getting the quick service dining plan just because it hardly saves you any money. Like you might as well just stop at quick service restaurants along the way. If you really have a tight budget, don't get a dining plan. Just like go with a certain amount of money and just buy food when you're hungry because Disney World gives you so much food you don't really need to worry about like <laughs> you can probably eat one meal and that'll cover you for the whole day so don't worry too much about getting a plan because it won't really save you money now the regular Disney World dining plan is the best I definitely recommend this you get one table service meal per day and one quick service meal and one snack that's definitely enough food that's too much food we got that and we still had meals left over but it's a really good thing if you want to try some like really great places like Ohana's or if you want to go to the Chefs de France in Epcot. And if you want to do like character dining, you can take two of your credits and equal one like really fantastic thing. For example, we had breakfast in Cinderella's Castle in Magic Kingdom. Super, super cool. Met all the princesses and it cost us the same as if we'd eaten hot dogs somewhere. So definitely, if you're going to get the dining plan, go for the regular dining plan. It'll cost you about $840 for a family of four, well that's with two kids and two adults for a week, so about $840, I think about $900 with tax, and I think it's actually a pretty good deal. So let me talk about the deluxe dining plan. If you guys are thinking like, oh, well, like what if we get hungry? That's what we did on our first trip, and oh my gosh, it is so, 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 so much food. Oh my goodness, we were like stuffed the entire time. We ate so many meals. We had two table service meals like a day and we tried to get through all our meals and I think we we ended our trip with like an amazing number of meals left. Like we still had 14 or something <laughs> like days worth of food. Just keep in mind Disney gives you a lot of food for one meal. And especially if you have little kids, they're not gonna eat a whole lot. They're probably just like, you know, they'll eat like a burger and some fries and they'll be good for most of the day and get them another little snack and they'll be fine because they get so much food. 
so definitely do not get the deluxe dining plan it's about fourteen hundred dollars per week and it's just five hundred dollars you're throwing away like it's just so much food definitely get the regular dining plan if you're going to get any of them i hope you guys learned something today if you have any questions anything i forgot to mention or something that you want to know more about just liz question or comments in the comment section below and i really hope you guys had fun listening to me i had fun talking about it and i'll see you guys next time